So if you uh, have a pedal board, chances are your board probably looks something like this. This is my board as it currently stands. You got all these effects and cables going um, in and out and over and under and stuff and uh, you probably use a pedal train like everybody else does and got all this velcro and stuff and um, there's also a good chance you use some kind of power supply you know attached to the bottom of your board and my junk is a mess um, I, my board moves a lot so um, it, it tends to bump into things and things get messed up um, and I also have uh, three cables coming out of this thing because I use an effects loop um, pretty religiously with my amp. So, um, you know, there's all that. So, the, the, what sucks about boards like this is that rearranging pedals is a pain in the butt. You have to, like, pull it and then hope that it doesn't reattach as you, you know, move things around and make adjustments. Um, you have to make sure that every pedal gets um, the right amount of Velcro under it. Um, it makes changing pedals sort of a pain in the butt. There isn't really um, any kind of system for um, ins and outs on the board. So you're usually plugging into a pedal. Like my input, my main, my first input is my compressor. So I plug my guitar right into that. And then my main outs are uh, on my reverb. Well, Actually, I mean, I was on the, it's on the mute switch, but on the effects loop, it's on the reverb and on the mute switch uh, for, the, for the main out. Um, so you're constantly plugging in and out of pedals, and that actually wears pedals out. So it would be nice if I can just uh, plug into some kind of jack, maybe onto the side of the, the pedal board here or something, um, and and then go into the, the pedal and then just leave leave this plugged in all the time. Um, usually when people think of this sort of thing, they think of Salvage Custom. They're the, that pedal board company that makes the really expensive uh, wooden boards and I just, I don't have $800 to spend on a pedal board. Um, so this is where Temple Board comes in. A few moments later. And welcome to my pedal board as it stands as of right now. So let's start with the chain. I don't usually have it set up this way with a wah pedal, but um, for, demonstration, for demonstration purposes, I whipped it out. And this is a Morley Maverick. It's cool because it doesn't have a switch. I just start moving it and it automatically engages. Um, and uh, it uses an optical sensor um, inside, uh, which makes it uh, more durable I guess and uh, it just has a nice sweep on it too. I'll check it out. I'll play it. Turn this guy off right here. So here's my clean tone with a little reverb. Uh, actually I usually use this without reverb so let's turn that guy off. What I like about it is I can be playing and just randomly throw in uh, some wah sounds. So. That's pretty nice. Uh, Next in the chain, I'm going to turn the reverb back on because I usually have it on. Next in the chain is uh, the Exotic Effects SP Compressor. Exotic Effects makes amazing stuff. Pretty much anything that comes from them is good stuff. And uh, um, same is true for this little compressor. Um, it's uh, only got two knobs and a switch. And there's some dip switches inside. Um, but it... Um, it just adds a sweetness to the tone without um, it being too obvious that I'm using a compressor on all the time. I never turn it off. Um, and it's at the very beginning of my chain. Um, and here, here's my clean tone without it.
pretty boring. And with the compressor. So I use it all the time, keep it on, 12 o'clock pretty much the whole time. Um, goes into my JHS modded uh, volume pedal, has a buffer and a little glowy light thing which you can see reflecting on my shoe there. Um, and it's good because usually these pedals are notorious for um, sucking on your tone and um, the buffer helps with that, um, especially if you're using the tuner output, which I do, into my uh, Korg, my Korg, my Korg pitch black tuner. And I can tune silently without having to turn the tuner on, which is pretty nice. All right. I'm not sure there's going to be any crackly noises. In this recording because what I'm actually using is an uh, amplitude tube for my amp right now I don't have my actual amp with me at the moment um, and uh, yeah I'm actually using an effects loop uh, with some clever bussing in uh, Logic Pro uh, anyway so I got the volume pedal going into this looper which is super awesome um, it has eight channels, ins and outs are just dry loops, and um, I got you know the two top rows of these four four clicky things here, and also preset mode. So I can hold this, and I'm in preset mode now. And each preset mode, of which there's three, um, has four folders, and each of the four folders has four presets. So you do the math; it's a lot of presets. Um, I tend to use purple mode for Sundays when I play at church and uh, red mode for just playing at home um, I have a drive uh, assigned to each preset and it's it's just nice but for this uh, demo we'll be staying in uh, manual mode most of the time which is blue green mode it is manual mode uh, so let's go loop for loop first loop I've got here is the Electro Harmonics uh, POG which is the octave thing, which you've heard before, I'm sure. A lot of times it gets used for just kind of like adding a shimmery effect, but sometimes when I'm having a little fun, um, I'll just crank this thing all the way up as far as it'll go in every knob, and um, just do like sort of funky weird stuff. Oh yeah, by the way, the guitar I'm using is this guy. It's an Epiphone Sheraton 2 with all this gaudy gold hardware, which is awesome. And a Bixby, and um, I had the pickups changed to uh, some DeMarcio, Eric Johnson signatures, which isn't the kind of thing I usually do, but he actually went to DeMarcio and told them he wanted um, filter trons that look like regular humbuckers. And so they gave them like this hybrid thing, and I think it works perfectly with some um, hollow body guitars. So you get all of the hollow body beauty, um, and all the feedback, and all the cool stuff that comes with having a hollow body, and um, the bite, and the brightness, and the beauty of the Filtertron TV Jones type pickups. So it's kind of like my little 335 Gretsch hybrid thing, which I love. Um, so yeah, next down in the chain is the uh, Phase 90, 
which I sort of just use for motion, just when I want to make things feel like stuff is moving, especially with really static stuff. Uh, so like... And I got it, you know, flowing up pretty slow there. Um, I also use it when I'm just doing like a, a solo and I don't have my wall pedal on me and it's, uh, I want to make it feel like there's movement, you know. Um, next is the GHS Morning Glory, which is like their transparent overdrive slash boosty type thing. I use it more like a, I guess, dirtyish boost. It's right on the edge of breakup, uh, and I, I have it on a lot. I, I use it for my bigger clean tone. So here's 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 it off. Here's guy on. Get, you know, if I dig in, it can get a little ugly, but not too much, which is where I like it. Um, it has like a, a high cut switch thing. Um, I don't. I, I keep the switch down. I like this exactly the way it's set right now. Uh, next up is the uh, tube screamer which is actually an analog man mod and uh, it kinda what what he did is he took a, a regular tube screamer and fixed all of the things about tube screamers that tends to suck like the low ends pretty much disappear when you're using a regular tube screamer and there's other things about it that suck and he basically took all the components and gutted it and um, replaced them with better ones and sort of his um, his flavor that he adds to stuff and made it a tube screamer that is good. So it's sort of like an $80 pedal, $80 pedal that sounds like 300 bucks, which is great. And um, it's my favorite pedal on the board. If I only have one pedal, that's the one I'm using. And here's how it sounds. pick up it's pretty um, next up is an ugly pedal it's not pretty and it's the JHS Super Bowl which is my uh, third stage drive um, and it's it's disgusting in the best way possible. I absolutely love this pedal. And this is what it sounds like. I, I tend to use it more for um, uh, leads and stuff. Just sort of this sort of stuff. Um, yeah, it's a great pedal. Next up is the JHS Sweet Tea. And the Sweet Tea has um, a TS-808 on this side and an Angry Charlie on this side. And because I already have a Tube Screamer sound on this pedal, I tend to not use the 808 side. If I really wanted to, I could kind of set it up to be a boost. But with my presets and stuff, everything just works out perfectly. I don't have to tweak and tap dance as much so I tend to just use the Angry Charlie side of this thing and it's my biggest loudest uh, driviest sound here's what it sounds like So that's a that's a cool guy there. 
Um, yeah, and just to give a demonstration real quick of this pedal, this uh, looper thing, the way it works, it's pretty nice. Um, what I tend to do is, you know, I play for church, so every week we've got different songs to play, and what I'll do is I'll go to manual mode, which is the blue-green mode. Uh, blue is for the bottom row, and green is for the top row, and I have everything labeled here. Um, say I'm playing a song, and the intro uh, requires octave pedal and uh, morning glory. So I'll turn those two guys on. All I have to do is hold the first guy here, and it's in sort of like saving mode. I choose which color bank to save it in, so I'll set it to save it in yellow. Then I choose the folder, and I use these two buttons to change folders. So let's say I want the first folder, and I want it to be on the first preset space here. So I just hold it there, and there it is, it's saved. So when I go to yellow mode, and I hit this guy, um, I'll automatically hear Morning Glory and Pog. Perfect. Um, and if I go to manual mode, it'll show me what it's on. And there it is. It's just great. I love this thing. Um, I usually have uh, folders for songs, and then in each folder, I'll have different sections of a song, and it just works perfectly for my purposes. Um, and it also has MIDI out, so when I get rid of some of this stuff and stick a timeline on there, or something that takes MIDI, um, uh, I'll be able to change presets on, on that device as well, which is great. Um, after the dry effects, which I keep on, on the looper here, it goes in, in and out in the effects loop, and uh, comes back and starts here on the Electro Harmonics Stereo Electric Mistress, which I sort of use in the same way I use the Phase 90 and just has a different sort of thing going. Um, and it's it's got a chorus and a flanger on it. Nowadays I'm just using the flanger side, but the chorus is fun too if you're into that. Uh, so here's what it sounds like. Let's engage it. Uh, make sure I don't have anything on the song. Just see if we can hear the pedal. nice. Um, and yeah, the same way I use the phase menu, I'll do, I'll do stuff kind of like this. Let's turn on the PS9. Yeah. Uh, next in the effects loop is the uh, delay, this guy that JHS modded DD7, and the mod is pretty simple. Basically, you can set this button um, as a preset. So you put your knobs and your mode, um, however you want it to be, um, and then you, every time you turn this on, it'll uh, call back that setting. So right now I have this set to uh, dotted eighth. So if I, this is the tap here. So if we just tap out, uh, one, two, three, four, and wait, pedal's not on. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. It's great. And uh, just with this off, it's just quarter notes. So one, two, three, four. Oh wait, turned it off. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Exactly. Um, yeah, so let's turn this guy off. Next up is the Shryman uh, Blue Sky. And um, I just love this pedal. It's it's really versatile. And I feel like it covers all of, all of my reverb needs. Some people want uh, presets, you know, a lot of presets on their reverb so look at the the big sky or whatever but um, this guy stays on pretty much all the time and I keep my favorite switch to that sort of shimmer setting let's see what that sounds like that's just sort of the regular and favorite
For those who play at church, you can definitely imagine how that gets used. Um, you know, swells and stuff, so you don't use dot of eighth here. Um, and maybe a morning glory. Whoa, come on. There we go. Yeah, so that's the board. As far as routing cables and stuff is concerned, um, I use pretty much everywhere George L solderless cables, and um, they're convenient because you can make them whatever length you want. So I got them coming out of here into all the different uh, dry effect pedals, and um, I have sort of like uh, cable going bad a phobia. Um, I'm always afraid of something going wrong, so I tend to use um, solderless cables on these loops. So let's say that, I don't know, this cable here goes bad on the super bolt. I'll just not use, go to the top row, I just not use this loop. Um, and everything will just run fine. Um, as for everywhere else, um, like here for example where my signal starts, I'll use just uh, Magami's or Monster cables, whatever, you know, just soldered cables. Um, because I have sort of, it just makes me feel safer. <laughs> um, yeah, so what's cool about this board is, so we'll have signal starts, but see it, I'm not using this, which is usually the case. My signal will start here, right there. Let's focus that in. And this is, um, uh, Neutrik locking jack, which is pretty nice. Um, and uh, it goes into my first pedal, which is here, and uh, this locks in. Um, I bought a special jack, which I can add a link to in the description. Uh, that doesn't require any soldering or anything, you just screw it in and you're good to go. Um, and then the signal ends, or, or rather it continues its journey, here on the main out, um, disconnect these guys. Um, I start here. This is my main out. Uh, this is my effects in, my effects out. So I'll just take my little bootleg snake here, just line these guys up, and then I'll just pop them in, and I'm good to go. Um, and then the end of these cables go to the amp. And uh, also we got a power out here with an actual power switch on it so I can turn everything off and see everything dies and turn everything back on and it's just beautiful I love this I love this thing um, so yeah that's the board uh, I've got a, a Voodoo Labs pedal power and a, a Dunlop MXR DC brick uh, powering all this stuff um, and, uh, yeah, that's everything. I hope you've, uh, enjoyed this video, and, yeah, any questions, feel free to comment. Bye!